got an easy one for you this morning. Come on out of there, tracking dog. <laughs> All right. No screwing around, buddy. I got an appointment. <laughs> you didn't even start at the right spot. Come here, Valley. I'm showing it to you. I don't care. Right here. Hey, Valley, check this out. Right here. Yeah, that's your deer. That's your deer. You ready? Track it. And we're off. Easy track this morning. You never know what you're going to get with this butthead, but this should be an easy track. I'm always looking for spots to lay tests for uh, people locally when I need to. All right, he didn't bite on the trail. Um, so I'm looking for a new spot to lay a reasonable UBT-1. Um, and I tried this and I thought, what the hell. Might as well wear tracking shoes and let Val run it. I can't mess around too much. I got something to do today, appointment-wise, but he's on the line. He just doesn't like that. He's looking to, this dog will take the easy way and go around. And he was <laughs> looking to see if there's an easier way to get through this high stuff. I don't blame him. So this is, well, look at me, dude, I'm coming. It's basically a UBT-1 layout. I think you missed a turn there. Yep, figured it out. Maybe, not quite. I don't wanna help him, it's too easy, but. I'm not going up that hill with him. Is that right? I'm not helping you. <laughs> You're not tangled. Good Lord, Valentino. I got you. All right. He did as usual. I missed the turn. Where is it? Then he got tangled. Now he's back on it. Oh. Basically a UBT-1 layout. Pretty straightforward. No tricks, no advanced checks. It's 400 and... I don't know, 453, 453, I think. Um... I guess Val doesn't know it's a UBT-1 or he wouldn't have gone all the way over there. I don't want to get 
drug down there with him. Unless he's going to get tangled again, but. He might just be being a butthead and trashing, but didn't really look like it. I don't want to have to scold you, dude. Right back down the line. I don't have all day. Claire's waiting for him to get back so she can take him for an exercise run. Now I've got an appointment at eight o'clock. It's first light. Doing that summertime hasn't been as hot as it was, but it's still plenty hot. And don't get me wrong, train how you fight. We will do some tracks in the hot weather. Get ready for that first week of September in Kentucky. It can be plenty hot down there. We had a four day track down there last year, and it was in 90s, low 90s. And by the end of the fourth track, I got the fifth call and turned the, had to turn the guy down. It was just, uh, couldn't get enough water in the dog and just had to get him back in the air conditioning just to be sure. It's all about the dog. Don't hurt your dog. But we did call the back guy back the next morning and he had given up and we went and found his deer at 38 hours. So. Kind of a happy ending not that the meat was any good <laughs> at 38 hours in those temperatures but i did kind of throw in a little uh there's some deer trails that kind of leave this deer trail they, there's a lot of forks and i always took the least obvious fork but still looks like he just might have bit on the wrong one. Let's find out. I'm not going to mess with him too much. <laughs> Footing gets a little goofy in here. It's the side of a hill. So if I fall, we'll all get a good laugh. Oops. There. biting on something down there. I don't know. No, oh, he's doing alright. I gotta watch where I'm going. This gets tricky in here. Okay. <laughs> now, if I knew, if you had, just to tell you about the relative ease of this line, if you described to me what it was, like if you knew, in hindsight, it was this long, it was this many hours old, even without blood, I mean, it's just hooves only, but still. Um, this is a real world track. I'd take the under on, I don't know, maybe 12 minutes. It might take him a little longer than that, but probably not much if it does. Another fork that he took the right way. Which, you can't expect that, because there wasn't any tricks. I didn't walk down the fork or anything. Another fork and he, you know, we, I purposely crossed over this little trail right here just so he wouldn't, you know, I mean, if he walks right down the trail, I'll cut him slack, but he's not. He Cross the trail, stand on the line. Whoops. That might be a little trashing right there. I didn't see anything, but that happens in the real world. Give him a second to settle down. Hey, pay attention. He's on the line now. Whoa, this gets really tricky in here. And he's pulling. I'm not gonna allow that. Well, I'm navigating this, <laughs> these locks. 
when I get pulled over. Definitely looks like he's trying to trash on something, but I didn't hear anything. He's on the line, so I'll just... If we were in the real world and he started this, I would think we put the deer up ahead of us. I don't hear anything. I made this turn correctly. This was the turn back here that we, we are on it. We're close to the target. I'm just dragging it out. <laughs> Might as well let him go. Now, there is something I did here towards the end. In the real world, I'd probably walk right down this trail, but I didn't. I um, did a little jink off where I put the target. A little jink to the left. Um, probably wouldn't do that on a UBT-1. I mean, it's not grossly out of there, but... It's an entry level test. We're not we're not trying to throw any curveballs at anybody. Let's see if he gets a turn. I'm not even sure where it is. It's not there, but he might be in the scent pool. Let's just see. Yeah, he's in the scent pool. See how he's air scenting and correcting by air scenting. Let's see if he makes a turn. I don't want to crowd him. Yeah, he's in the scent pool. I think the targets are we're within, I don't know, 15, 20 yards of the target. I'm just going to drop the leash because I'm lazy. And we'll see what he does. He might be trashing on something. But see if he looks up and comes back around. <laughs> well, I would not do this in the real world. I don't real world, I don't know where I'm at. Yeah. Oops. Needs to turn in the woods right there. I don't know if you can still see him, but... Now he's definitely distracted. Where's that deer? <laughs> oh. You know, if I was taking the test or tracking in the real world, I would have gone with them up there. Um, I kind of, obviously it's not a blind track. I know where the target is and I can tell he's, he's in the scent cone trying to zero in on it. See if I can. I didn't want to keep going down the line, but I'm not even sure where it is now. But oh yeah, he's he's zeroing in on it. He's even he tried to take credit right there. He wagged his tail a little bit. Good boy, <laughs> good dog, Valentino. That looked a little goofy towards the end there, but we'll give you credit. Yeah, we'll give you credit. Good dog. He's like, why didn't you hang on to my leash, Dad? Because <laughs> I'm lazy. That's why. In fact, I'm going to take your leash off right now. Um, yeah, just I figured as long as I was out here scouting, I might use this. It wasn't that bad. Um, as far as the terrain, and I don't like to throw extra tricks at people when I'm giving them a UBT-1. It's pretty straightforward what they want. 290s, at least 400 yards, and a wound bed. The wound bed would have been after that first turn sometime on that long straightaway. Good dog, Valentino. It's like, that oh, it was too easy, Dad. And you can see, even on an e easy test like this, he got in that scent pool, and you could see him throwing his head up back up there, and... Uh, trying to air scent instead of uh, track to the target. I let him do that. I don't know if I'd have seen this deer, but uh, eventually he stuck his nose on it and wagged his tail. Um, always make your dog indicate the target. The track's not over till your dog indicates the target. All right, today's reward is, um, pretty, pretty much sure it's a chicken breast. Yeah, what a good dog, what a good dog. That was easy. Give me my chicken breast. Um, yeah, leftover chicken breast. That, it was good. I don't remember. Kind of like an Italian type thing with uh, some kind of rice. But he didn't need the rice. 
Yeah, what a good dog. <laughs> this dog will do anything for human food. <laughs> that was too easy, Valentino. If it's going to be this nice and we're going to run them in the cool weather, I should just let them lay longer like I've been doing. But I got them busy the rest of the day. So, you know, you could... Uh, you can lay practice tracks under Al Sherman's Undeniable Truth. Um, train how you fight. You know, 24 hours, hot weather. Or you can train under the Undeniable Truth, just do it. <laughs> and we're at the just do it point today because uh, I just really had to get this done. So pretty much... Uh, an easy track and there's nothing wrong with mixing it up. I mean, I didn't mix it up on purpose You know, I my feeling is if the dog can do a 24-hour track, he can do a 13-hour track I hear people talk about there's too much scent because it was too new a track. That's I mean, come on <laughs> I don't believe that I'm not gonna argue with guys. There's guys that really believe that but um, I don't I think Val should be able to tra track a 15-minute old track just as well as he tracks a 30 hour old track so I saved my target gave Mr. Special all this stuff okay well we're gonna do uh, probably one or you know pretty quickly early this week I've got a test on uh, Saturday um, and I uh, these hooves are on about the uh, fifth play so eh, I might try them again he didn't seem to have trouble with the scent line on this one um, but I like to, when I give a test, I like to uh, use a brand new set of hooves and I will lay one track for Val just to make sure the, the hooves are putting out enough scent. And then the second play with those hooves, I'll, I'll lay the test line. Just wanna make sure everything's fair and equal and I do that every time, so. Other than that, 400 yards, I think we're just over 13 hours. Uh, really just two 90s, no advance checks, and he did pretty well. He did very well. Um, that's what I expected. Overshot that first turn, figured it out. Uh, maybe got a little distracted after that second turn and thought he smelled something or heard something, uh, but he got over it. And then he got in the scent pool, which is pretty common. Um, and I just let them work it out. Don't drop the leash like that in the real world. You don't know where you're at. You don't know what's there. You don't know what your dog's going to do. I know this property. I know where we are. I know what the dog's doing. Um, and I was just being lazy. <laughs> I knew he'd zero in on it, and that's what he did. All right, we'll uh, see you next time. That was, a, that was a quickie. Hope you enjoyed it.